Sonny makes a good hoagie. The fr I can already tell. It's gonna be a long day. Finally, a clear day. Maybe I can get something done now. You got that right. Oh, feels great today. His eyes burn like fires in the night, and no enemy will escape his sight. You're looking a little rough. Here you go. Be safe. Gotta keep a tab on radar whereabouts. Sonny makes a good hoagie.
You're always welcome here. Hello there, stranger. Where'd you come ambling in from? One of those vault dwellers, are you? I've heard tell of your kind. Solved a lot of problems. And caused a lot of problems, from what I hear. You wouldn't happen to be one of the problem-solving kind, would you? I could use one of those right about now. Now I know what the settlers are going Oh, through. excuse me. Let me introduce myself. Name's Lane Platt. I'm with the responders. We're a band of self-titled do-gooders around these parts. Appalachia's filling up fast, and we're trying to keep everyone hale and healthy and off each what other's throats. A broken leg? Asking for a friend. I like to think so. It gives me hope that we can one day right all the wrongs in this world. Now, there's a lot going on in this neck of the woods, more than I can tackle myself. You got ferocious beasts roaming the forest, creepy cult moving into the caves, Let and all manner of people about ready there. to go to war with one another. All that is to say, I could use a hand, and I'd be willing to pay you for yours. What do you think? Why, that is just terrific. Thank you a thousand times over. Uh, here's the job for today. A forest is a dangerous place. Not compared to other regions, mind you, but let's not lose sight of the facts. To make it safer for new settlements, we've been clearing out dangerous critters and using the meat to feed people in need. If you could go retrieve the meat from our traps, I will happily compensate you. I appreciate your help. Stay safe out there. Damn, we're scorched. Care to see another friend? How are you holding up? Glad we got those bots up You know up what we around. could use more of? Did you know we've only had like six it. cans of cram in stock for the past week and a half? Yeah, hard stuff to find, cram. Evidently. I'm the quartermaster at this little outpost of ours. That means I manage what supplies we have. I, uh, count them? A lot. Just to make sure we're still out of gauze and didn't magically manifest more while I wasn't looking. I wanted to be a doctor, but being a doctor is hard when you have a fear of blood. And needles. And a failure. They're great. We're great. They more than me. They're selfless and fearless and try to solve any problem, no matter how difficult. And they, uh, use a lot of supplies. And don't get many, but, uh, they manage anyway. <laughs> Me? <laughs> I'm nothing special. Oh, no. I'm no Appalachian. I came in from the north with Paige and the other settlers at Foundation. Do you know them? But I, I wanted to do more than just settle. I wanted to learn medicine. And the responders seemed like they could teach me. Only, a. Uh, they couldn't. Or I couldn't learn is more like it. Huh. Free time? That's not a real thing, is it? Stressed? <laughs> Who's stressed? Me? It's uh, that obvious, huh? Well, I, I do have my mantras to calm me down. Serenity. Serenity, peace, and... Wait, was it six bottled waters or sixteen in the next shipment? <laughs> yeah, you really think so? I'm not sure I believe you, but it's a sweet thing to say, nonetheless. 
Well, that's probably for the best. Okay then, I'll be here. Probably forever. You're back! You've recovered the meat from our traps. Just what I wanted to hear. On behalf of the responders, I can't thank you enough. You helped us make progress toward a more peaceful world. I sure wish I could say that's all the help I needed, but the work never ends. If you're in the neighborhood again sometime, I will always welcome more of your help. Day in the meantime, though, here's your payment. Have a good day now. buff out, the Blood Eagles won't be able to fill their ranks. <laughs> oh, we're really doing it! Damn right we are. But uh, before we break our arms patting ourselves on the back, we've still got tons of work to do. Anyway, it's time to move on to the big score. I want you to kill the first of the gang's three leaders. The Blood. You know, this is the one who finds the most vulnerable and brings them to the cave. Yeah, it is. I can't lie. This rips me up inside. I'm... terrified. 
And it feels like, um, like my own blood is working against me. I feel like I'm forced to be uh, docile here. Uh, this is so embarrassing, upsetting. But thank you. I uh, need your help more than you realize. Well, they're sent to the cave for processing. Here. I got this holotape off one of the eagles a while back. Now oh, it's sickening how little they value a human life, even for a raider. <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, they were just raiders who were destroyed by heavy chem addiction. But then, uh... You know, it wasn't just that. You know, some of them became incredibly violent and, and thoroughly enraged. I mean, before they were just a band of maniacs, and, and it was bad, yeah. But this, this is, this is new. This is, this is terrible. I'm gonna dig a hole somewhere. Deep. Then bury it. Hopefully it'll sink into the soil and that's it. It's a temporary measure, but necessary. Oh, well, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not going to use it, if that's what you're thinking. No, no, no. I've worked way too hard to escape that crap. Never again. Well, I gave Ronnie the key and told her the news about Bronx. Oh, she's thrilled, by the way, so... Hopefully we'll hear some news. Soon. One beverage coming right up. I tell you what, I'll buy this round. Uh, the rest will be out of your pocket. Uh, this stuff doesn't come cheap, you know. You really saved me. You know that? 